Hey everyone, welcome to my top five favorites from the month of September. These are my September monthly favorites. And as always, I've broken them down into five, not five categories, it's been a day. My top five from various categories, clothing, beauty, accessories, and lifestyle. I didn't add Amazon this month, so it's only four. Okay, so in my head I knew it was five categories. I've already started just nuts. It's been that kind of month, so this is only appropriate before I get into my actual favorites. Just to recap what I've been up to this month, Michael and I road tripped from San Antonio to Beaver Creek, which is outside of Vail, um, Colorado. That is a long drive. We did it in about a day and a half and stayed there. Basically, we had gone a week and then did the drive back. We were home less than a week, and then we hit the road again. We went to visit Shane at Ole Miss, Oxford, Mississippi, did a detour to Laurel, Mississippi, more on that in the vlog, which is coming up shortly, and um, ended up back home. And then just to make our life crazy, we decided to pretty much redo the entire first floor of the house. So I've been preparing all day for painters coming in a couple of days. As you are watching this, hopefully my kitchen is about halfway done. We'll start as always with beauty because that is where my heart is. First up, I have to discuss the foundation that I'm wearing today and all the, all the reviews are, are fabulous about this, but the one that means the most to me is when Michael looks at me when I'm wearing this and says, what did you do to your skin? It looks flawless. I put this on. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. I am wearing it in a shade that I can't read. What shade is it? Fair Neutral 11. It's fabulous. It's super lightweight. It gives wonderful medium buildable coverage and makes your skin look like skin. And it feels light as air on the skin. The skincare stuff, I don't know. I put so much skincare on. I couldn't tell you if this helps or not. I don't really care. It makes my skin look amazing when I wear it, and that's the important part. Number two for my beauty favorites was this guy, my very first big er Natasha Denona palette. This is the Glam palette. Everyone on the internet has been talking about this too. This is the first time I felt like I had to have it. I bought it the minute it went live on the Sephora site. I've taken it with me on my travels. It is a little out of my comfort zone in that it is more cool toned and I'm definitely more of a warm tone fan. But if you've been waiting for a really easy to use Natasha Denona palette that isn't over $100, this is 65, which I know is still a lot, but for the quality of these shadows, it is worth every penny. And this is what I'm wearing on my lids today. And it's mostly matte shades with just a pop of the center lid shade, one of the center lid shades there. What I really like about this palette, other than the colorway, which is, it just screams me, is that you can pop these out and rearrange them to the way that suits you. So the colors aren't named center eyelid or outer eyelid. The container is labeled that way. The shades actually, if you pop them out, they have the numbers, the Natasha Nona numbers on the back. You can just move them to what speaks to you. So I think it's a really great versatile, Price, uh, palette and a decent price point for a Natasha Denona palette. I did, but you haven't seen it. It's a bonus video coming out tomorrow. I did a sponsored video with Walmart and I hit a topic that I get asked about pretty frequently, which is please do a video on clean makeup. And believe it or not, there's a lot of very affordable, pretty mainstream clean makeup available at Walmart. And I did do my research. I didn't just take Walmart's word for it. I did go on some independent clean beauty websites and confirm that the brands and products I, were look, I was looking at were in fact clean. And there were some standouts that I really, really like. One of them is on my lips. This is the Burt's Bees Liquid Lipstick. As you can see, it doesn't look like a traditional liquid lipstick in that it doesn't dry down matte and, and dry. I'm wearing this in the shade Tidal Taupe, I wanna say. And what I really like about this, other than it's moisturizing and it stays on my lips, it's long wearing and it wears well under a mask. You can take your mask off, it's still on. It will transfer onto the inside of the mask, but it doesn't move all over your face. I really like this, I wanna get some more colors. Now I have two face powders that I have to include as one product because I'm cheating, I'm bending my own rules. The first you will see again in tomorrow's video, it's from Revlon. I did some research and Revlon won some major clean beauty awards for their line. I had no idea Revlon was a clean beauty brand, um, their Photo Ready Candid Loose Setting Powder is incredible. Since I've picked this up, that's all I've been using. It's not a flat matte powder. I'd say 
It's very similar to the Laura Mercier powder, maybe a little more satin finish and a finer milled. It's just, it's great. I love it. That's what I've been wearing. But weirdly, even though I have really dry skin, ever since we got back from Colorado, I've just been sweating like crazy. Maybe my body is rebelling against the fact that I took it to 22 degree weather and then brought it home to 90 plus degree weather and humidity through the roof. So I grabbed a very old favorite of mine. I haven't used this in ages. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I have it, I don't even know. Does it have a shade? It's transparent. I think it comes in shades now. It's a lifesaver. I mean, I, I get shiny here now. I don't know what's happening to me. So I just take a little tiny setting brush, like the Real Techniques setting brush, and just set like in my T-zone. What is happening to me? My skin is changing. It's just weird. And then the last beauty favorite I picked up at a last minute Ulta haul. I actually picked this up in the Ulta in Texarkana. If you watch my Like to Know It feed, you'll, you'll see the whole video on that. This is the travel size of the NARS Climax. I think it's Climax Extreme. Yes, mascara. I'm wearing it now. I've been wearing it the last few days in a row, and Michael said, oh, did you finally figure out how to wear false lashes? Those are fake, right? I'm like, nope, it's this stuff. Now, I have worn it without a lash primer, and it's smudged. I've been wearing it the last few days with the L'Oreal um, Lash Paradise Primer, and then this on top, and it's set like a dream but the longest, thickest lashes I have ever seen on my own eyes. Incredible. Let's move on to clothing. Let me scooch over so I can insert some pictures. Number one has to be the new launch of the Soma weekend line, specifically the piece I have, which is the Sunday wrap and the wide leg Sunday pants. You've seen it on my Instagram feed. I love this combination. You saw it in my seven ways to wear loungewear. I know you've watched all those videos, right? Anyway, I, Love this line. I'm so excited they've expanded it. There's some pieces that I can't wait to pick up as it gets cooler, more of like a sweater, like a fine gauge sweater material for the loungewear. But right now, like I said, it's still 90 degrees and I'm not quite ready to move over into full on sweater weather. It's just a really fabulous line. And then let's jump over to their sister brand, Chico's. I wore these pants for a date night out on our vacation to Colorado. These are pull on snakeskin print, I guess, pants. So they're black pant with a black snakeskin pattern on top. I don't know why I can't say that word. It's, they're so cool. And I love that they're pull on because date night I'm eating, you know? So I like that there's a little bit of room for expansion there. So they're comfortable, but I have to say they're pretty sexy pants. I love the black on black. I love the snakeskin pattern. They're super cool. I can't wait to wear them more. Need the weather to cool down a little bit. And speaking of cooling down, I am bringing this up. A little ahead of time, but this is something you wanna have before it gets cold. I brought along my new North Face parka to Colorado and I specifically wanted, it was in my notes since last anniversary sale, I wanted a long parka, like almost like a trench coat. And this, I think it's their thermocell. It's super thin and lightweight and so warm. If you need a new winter jacket for the winter and you live up north, you need to have this. You will love this. Now, I didn't get it in the black. I got it in the, I think it's called anthracite gray. So it's a really deep gray. And I love that. It looks great with black stuff, but it looks great with other colors as, as well. It's not quite as, well, harsh as a dark black, but it also comes in their traditional black and I think another color. But I'm just, I love how packable it is, how lightweight and still so warm. My fourth fashion favorite is what you're seeing right here. I'll insert a picture of the whole thing. It's a two piece set. It's not a set. You have to buy them individually, but I bought it as a set. It's from Gibson, it's this faux wrap, it's jersey instead of fleece top, and then the joggers that go with it. This is my go-to road trip outfit as of right now. It got a lot of wear this month. It's just so comfortable. I've also worn it around town, worn it around my house. It's a, I love this not, they have cozy fleece, that's what they're known for, but this jersey is incredible. I am really getting into Gibson in a big way. And of course, I'm still a huge fan of joggers, and I kind of forgot that I had these. I got them either in the spring or last year. I've been cleaning out my closet, sort of preparing for the onslaught of painters and workmen coming into our house, so we've been cleaning out a lot of things and just getting rid of extraneous stuff. And I came upon these joggers. They are from Amazon. They're from a house brand. I think it's called May, M-A-E. And they are so soft. At first, I grabbed them thinking they were my loft joggers that, what are those called? The super soft line. They're almost identical. They're much less expensive and they're so soft and so comfortable. And I like, I think they have pockets on the back. I'm pretty sure. So I like that a little bit better. It 
breaks up all that surface area of my rear end so it doesn't look quite as expensive that way anyway i love these joggers if you haven't tried them give them a go let's move on to accessories this isn't new but i haven't carried it since well since quarantine started and it is my chloe fay bag she's back she's out and she's being carried proudly little change i swapped out the matching long strap with this guy. This is another bag strap. This one's from Social Threads. And I, I was gonna say, and I love it, duh. I love the black and white and gold. I think these three colors together just make this go with everything. And the gold goes with the gold hardware. Now for a more budget-friendly handbag, this guy, don't you love this? Don't, I just, I love everything about this bag. This is a crossbody bag from Chico's. And it's just, I love the metallic, what do you call this leather i don't think it's really it might be real leather i love the magnetic closure i love the chain detail all around it i wish it had like an exterior slip pocket but you can't have everything um it has a pretty extent i mean you can fit a lot in there it has an interior pocket the chain does not come off i kind of wish it did but um i like that the chain has a little bit of leather in there so it's not chain sitting on your shoulder i hate that i will say this does turn into a clutch pretty easily just tuck the chain in and now it's a clutch. It's so fun, I love it. I wore it on a date night with my snakeskin pants and I look forward to an opportunity to wear this again soon. Now let's talk about some favorite shoe wear. Again, not new to me, in fact, super old friend now, but these Dr. Scholl's slip-on sneakers are now perfectly worn in. I love these. They're still available, they're still a great price point. They do come in other colors, but my gosh, this cheetah leopard animal print is just perfect it goes with everything they don't rub i've never gotten blisters i just need to get more of these another pair that i really love and it's not really a shoe but i need to talk about these these slippers i love these i got these from amazon they do come in other colors it's kind of hard to justify having multiple colors of these but a pretty good price point so i just might get another pair just for fun they're super soft I am one of those weirdos that brings slippers with me when I road trip or travel. I don't necessarily like walking around barefoot in strange hotel rooms, so these are great. And because they're open toe, even though they're furry, they're, they don't overheat my feet and I'm comfortable. I don't know what else to say. Love these. And then the last accessory that I wanna talk about are these guys, again, not new. These are the Kathleen Pearl and Diamond Stud Earrings from Kendra Scott, if you're not aware. Kendra Scott does sell fine jewelry, so these are not the typical Kendra Scott price point. These are quite a bit more. She does occasionally have site-wide 20% off uh, sales, and they would include these, so you could get about $80 off, which is pretty good. But they're just classic, and I've been traveling so much that I pretty much, these were the only ones I packed on my Oxford trip, and I think these were one of only two pairs that I wore when I was in Colorado. Sometimes it's just easier not to have to mess with earrings. And these are great because they don't get stuck on my mask loops. Something to think about these days. Let's wrap it up with lifestyle. Let's talk about these first. Now this looks a little sparse because I had some other flowers in here that I took out. I actually just ordered more of these, that just the red. Um, and I'm gonna mix them up in here. These are faux poppies. They're like a latex real feel plastic. So they feel like actual flowers and they just make me happy. I do wanna show you, I haven't bent them or cut them. This is what they look like. And you can, there's a wire in the stem. So you can bend them, shape them, make them look a little more realistic, have them droop. Um, they're amazing. I love faux flowers, but I specifically look for ones that are made out of that plasticky stuff so they feel like real flowers too. All right, I'm all over the place with favorites today. I have to talk about these. So I'm still doing the Faster Way program. I get asked about that all the time. Yep, still doing it. Haven't been as great keeping up with my exercise. It's just hard when you're in a car for 14 hours a day to then go, yeah, let's go work out. It just, I mean well, but it's just not happening this month. And that's okay because I can still stick with the eating portion of the plan. I'm sticking with my intermittent fasting. I'm sticking with the low carb days and keeping track of my macros and all that, that's perfectly acceptable to not do the workout and just stick with the nutrition side. It's working, I haven't gained any weight, I haven't lost any weight, but I haven't gained any weight either. And I've been eating a lot and traveling, so I think the program is speaking for itself. But anyway, a great snack um, are these almond nut thins. I specifically like the hint of sea salt flavor. I eat a lot of um, 
sliced cheese with these. I use these with like tuna fish salad. There's a variety of things you can do with these. I've dipped them into hummus. They're so good. They're gluten-free and they taste really, really, really good. And they have a really nice crunch. I have been doing some decorating for fall. I will share all of that in a later video, but some new additions to my fall decor are pillowcases. This is one of the two that I bought. Um, they're I have the pillow insert already. I just swapped out the cover. They're like a watercolor. They feel like almost like a really, um, almost like velvet feel to them. And they're printed on both sides. I have them um, on the bench in my entryway and on a chair in my dining room. They're, I think there are four different options you can choose from. I picked two. I think you can buy them individually and in sets of two and or four. I'll put it all below. Really great way to kind of change things up on your sofa or just add a little touch of the season to somewhere in your house. I really, I love these colors. I mean, I usually I think of autumn as like oranges and yellows and tans and it doesn't really go with my house, but this, is my exact color scheme, so it's perfect. And then let's wrap it up with a favorite book series and a favorite TV series. Let's start with the book series. I am part of Kindle Unlimited. It's $10 a month. If you haven't tried this out and you're a big, voracious reader, highly recommend $10 is worth it. I have, you can borrow an unlimited amount of books from Amazon slash Kindle, um, as long as it's part of the Kindle Unlimited program. There's tons of options out there. I have found so many great things to read. And one of them is a series called The Witches of Palmetto Point. It is set outside Charleston. I think you get where it's going. It's about a family of, you guessed it, witches. And um, there's mysteries and they solve murders and things like that. And book 10 is re being released, I think, either the end of this month or the beginning of October. Either way, they're great books. And for $10, if I had had to buy all of those, they're all, you know, about five, six dollars to purchase. I got my money's worth with that. So I've gone through all nine and 10 is coming out soon. I can't wait to read it. And I will put the info below if you're interested. But Kindle Unlimited has been fabulous for me because I got a lot of reading done sitting in the car. And then lastly, a new favorite. So many of you recommended this to me and it just took me a little while to get on board, but Michael and I have been binge watching Hometown. Ben and Aaron live in Laurel, Mississippi, which is kind of Southern Mississippi outside Hattis Hattiesburg. And they are rehabbing houses, old historic homes throughout Laurel, Mississippi. And the budget is incredible. I mean, they all in, it's like $200,000 and that includes the cost of buying the house. It makes you want to sell your house and move to Laurel, Mississippi. Watch our vlog coming up because we did visit Laurel on our way home from Ole Miss and the town is a little different in real life. I'll just put it that way. But there are some really cute shops. The There is a little portion of downtown that is absolutely adorable. We didn't get to see as much of it as we liked. We were there on a Monday and a lot of the stores are closed on Monday. We did see a lot of the, we found a lot of the houses that they um, rehabbed on the show, which was really fun. And we even went to Ben's store. Ben has his own store that's where he does has his workshop. And we met one of the guys, um, that you see on the show, he was super nice. It was really, really cool. If you're into like, what are the other two? Chip and um, Joanna Gaines. If you like that show, I think you'll like Hometown a little bit, maybe even more. I love them. I love Ben and Aaron. You just wanna. All right, that's it for my favorites. What a month it has been. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. Really excited for October. Lots of changes going on in Casa Goldberg. I can't wait to show you all those as they go along. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future fun, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.